It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Friday, July 24th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather still moist and muggy today with scattered showers and storms. We trend hotter and drier over the weekend. Check it out. Water vapor satellite view this morning. You see that old nasty heat bubble centered over Texas and Oklahoma. They'll be blazing today with triple-digit heat in spots. We have a northwest flow aloft here. Number of boundaries around left over from the convection yesterday. And look at that. To start the day at 511, have a few showers in progress uh, between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. Looks like another small one down around uh, Kellyton, not too far from Alexander City. And we'll see those around today. Probably not as extensive and as widespread as yesterday. Everybody in the 70s, some dense fog early this morning. We'll expect a high fairly close to 90 today. Heat advisories north and west of Alabama. Looks like the uh, core of the heat runs from near Kansas City down to about Tulsa, where there are excessive heat warnings in effect. We do have a marginal severe weather risk for the southern part of Alabama later today and tonight. Most of the activity up north, though, on top of the heat ridge. Tomorrow, severe weather possibilities stay up north. And on day three, which is Sunday, just a marginal risk from near Des Moines over to Chicago. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. North Alabama, not much. Heavier totals near the Gulf Coast, but understand if you're beach-bound, don't panic when you see that. You'll see a pretty decent amount of sun each day with just the standard risk of the occasional passing thunderstorm, which are always kind of fun to watch if you're sitting on your balcony. Hey, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, 594 heat ring from Texas up into Kansas. We have troughs basically on both coasts. And again, for us, muggy air, fairly unstable, so scattered showers and storms today. Here's the HRRR at 5 o'clock this afternoon, really showing the more numerous showers and storms south of Interstate 20, uh, down toward US 80 by then. Tomorrow, the heat ridge begins to rebuild. Still, understand there could be a storm. There probably will be, but just not very many of them. And we'll creep up toward the mid-90s, and the same thing on Sunday. Mostly sunny and hot. A storm possible, but not likely for any one given spot. Same thing Monday. Maybe mid to upper 90s. The GFS is at 97. Tuesday, again, storms certainly possible. In fact, I'd say they're likely, but they'll be very widely spaced. Then toward the latter part of next week, the storm should start to increase. This is Wednesday. There's Thursday as the heat ridge begins to weaken again. And a week from today, this is Friday, July 31st, end of the month. You can see the 594 ring well to the west, and down below that looks like showers and storms become rather likely. And we might just stay in the 80s all day Friday. In fact, the GFS is showing only 88 for that day, a week from today. Here's the end of the forecast, Sunday, August 2nd. Again, heights about uh, typical. The, the really core of the heat ridge is west of here. Strong uh, shortwave up on the Canadian border, and that looks uh, kind of soupy with scattered showers and storms around. Temperatures for the next 15 days, you can see we kind of ramp up toward the mid, maybe upper 90s for the first half of next week, but then the numbers come down with upper 80s possible around the 1st of August. And the anomalies, July 31st through August 6th, I'd say we'll be pretty close to average here, maybe a smidgen above. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.